Hello, good afternoon, you through James. How can I help? No, just kidding. Or am I? Well, um, making another video. I've been trying all day to uh, try and film it through my PC. But I'm not very computer literate anymore. I used to be. When I was a fucking loser kid. But you know, things change, technology changes. So today, what I'm going to have a quick chat about is all the passion that everyone seems to have at the moment. I mean, how often do you have a discussion with someone and they're just like, eh. It's very often that people are very strongly held in their beliefs and they'll argue and they'll argue and they'll argue and they'll believe blindly what someone they like says and uh, make huge errors of judgment because the group that they like is saying things that are wrong. Like you see someone who is a leftist and uh, strongly follows everything on the left, no matter what. And conversely, you have the exact same people on the right who strongly believe absolutely everything. I have very strong political beliefs and they are on either side of the spectrum for quite middle ground on a political spectrum. Do you know the little compass there? In reality, I've got very strong beliefs that are all over the place. Um, I don't like that a lot of the people I agree with politically are religious or are against abortion. I don't or, or climate change, saying that it's not true. I mean, just look at a river and see how its life is being destroyed by the pollutants. Um, climate change isn't just the world getting hotter. It's huge. It's everything. It's the river water supplies being poisoned. It's the loss of natural habitat. It's the privatisation of all the resources. And I really wish people would take a step back from an argument or a discussion they were having online and think, huh, this person is making some good points. Yes, this crazy uh, feminist with blue hair is a maniac, but some of the things she's saying are actually valid. Um, and also, from the crazy feminist side, she was thinking, right, okay, this man who's a disgusting pig, what he's saying, oh, huh, some of it does make sense, yes. Um, if all white men have an advantage, no white men have an advantage, because they're on exactly even playing field with each other, so they have no advantage. I, 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 that doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You can't have a huge group of most of the population in these countries that these feminists are in having a being better off it, 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 there's too many people everyone most homeless people most drug addicts are white men obviously in the west um and they, they really need to look at, around them so yes obviously there's lots of bad people in the world there's lots of racists in the world the main thing is 10 percent of all men are pieces of shit 100 percent of women are have to put up with men who are pieces of shit and treat them like garbage. Um, saying ten percent of people are racist, openly racist. Everyone's uh, racist and tribal deep down um, in, in every sector of society. I mean, just look at football. That's where that, those negative thoughts can pour out into obscene tribalism, violence, and hatred for a town three miles away. Um, what this uh, podcast is about, not podcast, it's a video, um, is about please be uh, more neutral in your discussions and your debates. Please take a step back and think, okay, my side isn't 100% right, their side isn't 100% wrong. You can't blindly follow. Um, these, the media, the um, politicians, they separate us into these groups, so they all group into one cohesive unit and they're much easier to control if everyone thinks group X is a cause of uh, problem B uh, they're much easier to control because they're all unified if everyone was analytical and, and took a step back and looked at each side and realised some they both have valid points those people aren't as controllable and that's what everyone needs to do I remember 10 years ago online, uh, meh, uh, was a very common uh, response. People go, eh, I don't really care either way. 
um, about this situation or that situation. Now it's people vehemently uh, screaming and shouting and, and incredibly passionate about very inane things that shouldn't really matter. Um, and that's like the new cool thing. Um, back obviously early 2000s, 90s, it was all meh, it doesn't matter. So that's what this uh, little clip was about. Um, I'd like to hear some feedback. Obviously, I've only had one video so far. I've loaded one video today, first video. Um, hopefully I'll get 100 uh, by the end of the year. That's my plan. Um, what's the cat doing for the love of God? Okay, thanks guys and have a nice day.